Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dress reveals in movies. For this list, we'll be looking at the most stunning cinematic Cinderella moments and those big outfit unveilings we always wait for. What movie gown do you think is the most iconic? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Cruella's Surprise Red Dress Cruella. Like my ball? I like to make an impact. We didn't necessarily expect Cruella de Vil to get an origin story in 2021, but we're glad she did. There's plenty to enjoy in this fun film, and the fabulous clothes are a huge part of that. I want to make art, arty. And I want to make trouble. You in? I do love trouble. In one gloriously over-the-top scene, Emma Stone's Cruella rocks up to an exclusive black and white ball held by the famous designer Baroness von Hellman. In a scene-stealing dress reveal, the eccentric protagonist sets her outer layers alight, revealing a show-stopping red gown underneath. It's all just a distraction to enable Jasper and Horace to steal a priceless necklace. But when the garment is that gorgeous, who cares? Who are you? You look vaguely familiar. I look stunning. I don't know about familiar, darling. Number 9. Mia's Princess Gown – The Princess Diaries Anne Hathaway's Mia Thermopolis has already had her big makeover by the time we reach the end of the movie. But to really look the part, she needs a dress fit for a princess. We know that Mia has her gown picked out for the Independence Day ball, however, things don't go exactly as planned. Is this punishment for driving without a licensed driver in the front seat? When she arrives late in a hoodie with wet hair, it's dramatic, but we can't help but feel a little short-changed. Where's the regal look we were promised? Why don't we dress like her? We look like idiots. Thank you, Your Majesty. Do you think they're trying to save money on the gown? Luckily, they don't keep us in suspense for long, and Mia ultimately appears in the ballroom in a gorgeous strapless gown with a full princess skirt. The contrast with her arrival look makes the final reveal even more special. Number 8. Tracy's New Look – Hairspray as the new dancer on The Corny Collins Show, hairspray heroine Tracy Turnblad is ready to bring Baltimore into the new decade. She starts off a craze with her big highlighted hair and even encourages her mum to get a makeover. Your mama's lit, she's all aglow. Your mama wants you told them back and mama's gotta let go, go, go. Edna's dress reveal is a lot of fun, but the real wow moment comes during the film's finale. When Tracy comes down in the open lift, she's a whole new woman. You can Her new look leaves behind her blouses and skirts for a short, 60s shift dress and go-go boots in sparkling but sophisticated black and white. Together with a brand new hairdo, she's setting trends and making a statement. The times are changing and Tracy's not going to let anyone hold her back. Number 7. Mrs. De Winter's Costume – Rebecca This scene from Rebecca is one of the movie's most memorable, but it's also incredibly painful. Why do you hate me? What have I done to you that you should ever hate me so? You tried to take her place. You let him marry you. The second, Mrs. De Winter, isn't a natural hostess, but for her and her husband Maxim's big fancy dress party, she's determined to get one thing right. As she struggles to pick the perfect costume, housekeeper Mrs. Danvers offers her a seemingly excellent suggestion. This one, for instance, it might have been designed for you. I'm sure you could have it copied. I've heard Mr. De Winter say that this is his favorite of all the paintings. She runs with the idea enthusiastically and is so excited to debut her gown on the big day. We can see why, because she looks absolutely marvelous and truly regal as ever. Sadly, things go horribly wrong. Danvers has set her up for failure. What is it? What have I done? Go and take it off. Doesn't matter what you put on, anything will do. 
What are you standing there for? Didn't you hear what I said? Maxim's first wife, Rebecca, wore that exact costume prior to her passing. After all that build-up, our heroine is left devastated. Number 6. Andy's prom dress. Pretty in pink. You remember when I and when you said that that um, if I wanted your prom dress, I could have it. <laughs> well, I need it. I want it. Even Molly Ringwald agrees that the pretty in pink dress wasn't necessarily pretty in the typical sense, but maybe it's time to reevaluate this iconic pink potato sack. There's no denying that the reveal of Andy's homemade dress marks a pivotal moment in the film piecing together bits of a frock that her dad got her and the fabric from her friend's old prom dress. The protagonist showcases her individual style. The whole point is she's not a rich kid, so she's got to get a bit creative. Oh my God, look at you. Another first. She arrives at the event without the date she wanted, not looking like a carbon copy of the cool girls, but fully comfortable in her own skin. It's not really about the dress, it's about her self-respect. It looks stunning, really. Just, it's, it's, it's breathtaking. <laughs> Number 5. The That Can't Be Calamity Look Calamity Jane Calamity Jane may be dated and full of problematic elements, but this reveal is unforgettable. Calamity's not beautiful, huh? You boys have a big surprise in store for you. Doris Day's Calamity dresses, talks and shoots just like one of the guys, but she wants to be appreciated for her feminine qualities too. In the shadow of her friend Katie, she finds it hard to get the kind of attention she's after. But when she's dolled up in pink ruffles for the ball, they all take notice. That can't be calamity. Why, she's beautiful. When her coat comes off to reveal a dress fit for a lady, no one's more astonished than her good friend Bill Hickok, who doesn't even recognize her at first. But it's Calamity's confused response to the male reaction that really makes the moment. How come all these glutes want to dance with me? But that shindig down at Hogan's stable, none of them come around. I didn't know. Spent most of the night chatting with a mule. <laughs> well, that's what I've been telling you all this time. Look better in a dress. Number four, Hermione's Yule Ball outfit. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The Harry Potter characters grew up with much of their audience, and by the time we hit the Goblet of Fire, the teenage hormones are raging. Harry and Ron are starting to notice girls, but they didn't count on a glow-up for their bookish best friend. She looks beautiful. Yeah, she does. Of course, it's a bigger transformation in the book, where Hermione is plain with bushy hair and recently straightened teeth. Emma Watson's version of the character was always pretty, but for the Yule Ball, she gets to be more than that. She gets to be glamorous. Is that Hermione Granger with Victor Crumb? No, absolutely not. Her ensemble is sophisticated and feminine, and she looks so lovely in pink that we can just about forgive the colour change from page to screen. No wonder Ron gets so jealous. You know the solution then, don't you? Go on. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Number 3. Ella's Ball Gown – Cinderella Cinema tells the Cinderella story over and over again, and each adaptation comes with its own dress reveal. Disney's live-action remake of the classic fairy tale has its own identity, but it also retains all the elements that make the story so beloved. But she wouldn't mind if I cheered off a bit? Wouldn't mind a nice blue? And it definitely doesn't stint on the transformation scene. Helena Bonham Carter's fairy godmother works her magic, transforming Ella's tattered pink dress into a sparkling blue ball gown, guaranteed to turn heads to make her the envy of little girls everywhere. Huh. It's beautiful. She'd love it. There were high expectations, but this moment more than delivers. It's a proper princess dress, if ever we've seen one, and it's just so pretty. They're all looking at you. Believe me, they're all looking at you. Number 2. Vivian's Red Ensemble – Pretty Woman Vivian Ward is one of Julia Roberts' most iconic roles to date, and it's easy to understand why. She charms us all with her story and heart of gold, but it's her Pygmalion-style transformation that provides the movie's defining image. Do I look okay? Mm. Hmm? Something's missing. Well, 
Nothing else is going to fit into this dress, I'll tell you that. When Vivian steps out in the red dress, Edward's reaction seems pretty understated. It's not until she walks through the hotel lobby that the jaws really start to drop. The staff have followed her rags to riches journey, and here is the finished result. When you're not fidgeting, you look very beautiful and very tall. In her off-the-shoulder floor-length gown and necklace worth more money than she's ever dreamed of, Vivian looks like a million dollars, and that smile is absolutely priceless. If I forget to tell you later, I had a really good time tonight. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Katniss is the girl on fire, The Hunger Games. Sinner's surprising dress design is a crowd pleaser. Steady, steady. Lovely, thank you. That was really something. That, that was something. That was something. Thank you for that. The first dress, Miss Congeniality. Sandra Bullock's undercover FBI agent goes glam. Oh, is that you? I am in a dress. I have gel in my hair. I haven't slept all night. I'm starved and I'm armed. Don't mess with me. Ooh. Ooh. Marissa's Cinderella moments made in Manhattan. JLo stuns in pale pink and diamonds. You're beautiful. So are you. Baby's pink dress, dirty dancing. It's simple but iconic. Sabrina's party look, Sabrina. The chauffeur's daughter has arrived. You look wonderful. Thank you. A bit late. I worry. Were you afraid I'd forgotten the address? It crossed my mind. Shall we dance? Right here. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Eliza's Dress for the Embassy Ball – My Fair Lady As far as rags to riches transformations go, it's impossible to forget My Fair Lady's Eliza Doolittle. Audrey Hepburn's Cockney Flower Girl gets the Cinderella treatment when Rex Harrison's Professor Higgins decides to turn her into a lady. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. I think she's got it. She makes her first public outing at the races, but steps it up a notch for the Embassy Ball. The latter is the occasion for which we get the proper head-turning dress reveal. Descending the stairs of Higgins' home, Eliza absolutely dazzles in a gown that's sparkly, elegant, and simply majestic. Miss Doolittle, you look beautiful. Thank you, Colonel Pickering. Don't you think so, Higgins? Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. The garment itself is like something out of a dream, and she wears it flawlessly. We're not exaggerating when we say she looks every inch a princess and holds herself like a queen. Charming, quite charming. Let's do a little man. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.